In this episode, we take a look at a new social network, MeWe. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. With the closure of Google Plus and a growing dissatisfaction with Facebook and Twitter, many people are looking for an alternative. Well, one such alternative is MeWe, that's spelled M-E-W-E, and it's available at MeWe.com. MeWe has the functions you expect of a social network, the ability to post text, photos, and videos, share links, and chat with your friends. What makes MeWe unique is its stand on privacy. MeWe began as an idea over dinner between friends. They were troubled on how large companies were treating people and their data as a commodity. On how when someone signs up for a service, they are tracked, advertised to, and their information sold to the highest bidder. With all this in mind, MeWe founder Mark Weinstein put together a team to build a social network with privacy built right in. After years of development, MeWe was launched in 2016. They established a privacy bill of rights for all their members, basically saying your data is yours and not theirs. They have no advertising on their site. That's right, no ads. Now you might be wondering, how do they make money if they're not doing advertising? Well, they sell extra things like cloud storage space, custom emojis and themes, and other special features, all of which are very optional. MeWe is free to use and feature rich. So let's talk about those features and how you use MeWe. Now I'm going to be giving you the broad overview here, just enough to get you started. First, if you're not already, you need to sign up. <laughs> All you need to do is type in your name and an email address. You'll receive an activation link in your email, click it, and you're done. That's it. That's how simple it is to create an account. Once you're in, you can set your photo for your avatar and anything else you'd like to share in your profile. It's all optional. All the basic social network posting options are available to you. You can type in text, upload pictures and videos, and share links. When you post, you have the option to make it public for everyone to see or just show it to your contacts. At the top of the site, you'll see a few links. Home, chats, groups, pages, and events. Let's call these your primary tabs. MeWe has done something here that I kind of like. They have all your feeds separated under their different tabs. Home only shows you your contacts posts. Groups show you the posts from the groups you've joined, and Pages shows you the posts from the pages you followed. The Events tab is basically your MeWe calendar, and Chats is your real-time chat. You can chat with people privately or on a group level. When you want to find people to connect with or groups to join, just use the search box at the top of the site. This new social network's user base has been growing rapidly, especially with Google Plus's imminent closure, Facebook's privacy violations, and recent policy changes at Tumblr. <laughs> it's all kind of happening at once. In fact, to help people transition from Google Plus to MeWe, it was announced just recently that MeWe will be providing a tool to import your Google Plus data. The tool should be available early March. I've already downloaded my Google Plus data, so when this tool is ready, I'll be testing it out for sure. I'll have a link to how to download your Google Plus data in the show notes. Oh, quick reminder, when you do download it, be sure to have it in JSON format. That's important. I've been using MeWe for a few months now. There are definitely pros and cons with the service. For me, the pros are, it's not difficult to use. Um, there is no advertising. That's a big plus. I like their privacy policy. Um, the iOS and Android apps are well laid out and easy to use. Um, it uses markdown in your text posts. You know I like that. <laughs> and I like the live chat feature. And you can see what people are posting. No Facebook-like algorithm. Trust me, that's a big plus. 
Now the cons for me. I am not a fan of the website's design. It kind of feels outdated to me. The user base is just not there yet. Yes, more people are joining every day, but unless you're moving there with a group or happen to know people already on it, finding people to connect with is a challenge. The pages section is still in beta and full of unofficial pages. So be sure to double check things before clicking that follow button. And launching new open groups isn't that easy because you have to have five people in your group before it will be listed in search. So there is no discovery but word of mouth for new groups launching. I have a few more nitpicks about the service, but they're trivial, so we'll move on. MeWe as a whole is a fine service. I don't dislike it, but I am not in love with it either. <laughs> they're continuing to improve their service and add new features. And as more people join, I'm sure there's an opportunity to grow a real community. I've started an Exploring Oklahoma History group that is growing. I've launched a group for the Blog Oklahoma podcast, and I plan to start even more Oklahoma-based groups. It might take time to grow, but it'll definitely be fun to try. So are you going to give MeWe a try? I hope you do. And please let me know what you think of the service. You can leave a comment under the show notes or share your thoughts with me on all the social spaces, including the Blog Oklahoma podcast group on MeWe. Again, I'll have links to all of this and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. This week's Blog Oklahoma writing suggestion is to share what you think of MeWe. I look forward to reading what you think of the service. Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? Then you already qualify for WebRing membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just explore the web ring and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. Please visit blogoklahoma.com for more information. Well, sorry it took me a little bit longer to put together this episode. I am for now <laughs> attempting to at least to get an episode out every other week. Someday I hope to get back to a weekly schedule. I plan to do some more Blog Oklahoma bonus episodes, but I think I might change things up on how I'm doing them. I'm still mapping out some ideas. The reason it took so long for me to do this MeWe review is I rewrote it about six times. Have, we, have you ever said MeWe repeatedly? <laughs> also, I wanted it to be a fair and honest review, and hopefully I've done that. When I started my review, I wanted to answer the question, Am I going to stay on MeWe? Honestly, before I started writing up my review, I was certain I was going to leave MeWe. I'm already on other social networks. Do I really need to add one more? Well, I do love exploring these new services. So that was an easy answer. <laughs> yes, one more won't hurt. Who knows, maybe this could be the one to take on Facebook. We can dream, can't we? <laughs> Another reason I was thinking of going um, was because I was very dissatisfied with the selection of Oklahoma groups. These are definitely not anyone I wanted to associate with. So I kind of had a knee-jerk reaction. I was about to condemn a brand new platform over the action of a select few. That's not fair. This particular set of individuals moved to MeWe early, and that's all. They don't define MeWe, and they definitely don't define Oklahoma. So I'm going to stay on MeWe for a while. I plan to launch some more positive Oklahoma groups, and I hope to build those communities. As I said in my review, it's going to definitely be fun to try. So again, I hope you give MeWe a try, and please join the Blog Oklahoma podcast group when you do. Oh, one more addendum here. Uh, this episode might sound a little bit different. My MXL 990 microphone that I've been using for years, I think, might have finally gotten broken. <laughs> I'm not certain. The recording was uh, scratchy and it dropped out a few times. I don't know if that was my mixer board or the MXL microphone. So I switched to a Behringer Dynamic microphone I have for backup. So hopefully this podcast sounds all right to you. Did you know we have our own cafe press store? 
There you could purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. So please head on over to cafepress.com slash blog Oklahoma podcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist on Spotify. There are many, many hours of music for you to enjoy. I have links to this and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm happy to announce as of February 24th, 2019, Blog Oklahoma has 728 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time. (laughs) 